This is Tom Singer and I am coming to you from the Small Business Festival 2017 in Austin, Texas. And I am joined by Sophie Rumineer from Iron Thorn Productions. How's it going, Tom? It's going great. You guys are a sponsor of the Small Business Festival. Why would a production company, a video company, decide to sponsor this event? You know, I mean, this event is all about what Iron Thorn Media is really going for, which is supporting small businesses and supporting uh, the, the vision of the entrepreneur and really uh, giving them tools to enable for sales and for, and for those, especially those businesses that are really interested in also doing a little bit of social good on the side. But, but we, we, we love working with SBF and uh, it's a lot of fun. So video has become really important for business, small business or large business. Why do small business people need to be thinking about video? You know, video is one of the most amazing ways to really convey information in an emotional and, and effective way. I mean, storytelling is a craft, one of the most ancient crafts uh, in history, and it's, and it's really about communicating ideas, values, and giving meaning to some of these things that we do every day. In business, sometimes it's not always about the bottom line. A lot of times it's about products and services and things that make our lives better or improve uh, improve the world in general. So yeah, I mean video is just, uh, it's extremely effective in helping people really get connected and get to know the business that they're working with. Because when people get to know you, they want to, they feel like they can trust you a little bit more. And with video, it's like they're kind of speaking right to you. So, you know. <laughs> so Iron Thorn works with companies of all size, but when you work with small businesses, what are some of the things you help them do? Well, we work on um, we work on kind of the rhetoric of the of the company, the branding, and how is this product going to make their customers feel? It's not about what you're going to do for the customers. It's about how they're going to feel when they use their product, or when they are they going to feel more secure? Are they going to have an easier day? Is their child going to you know get better grades or whatever they, the 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 product is? It's about improving the lives of people. So that's the basic concept. So you're one of the founders of the company. Mm -hmm. So as a small business person, what is what are some of the pieces of advice you would have for other small business people who are looking to start their own thing? Hmm. Well, yes, as many people during this event have said, it, a lot of it is being tenacious and resilience. I mean, there are a lot of studies that talk about successful business people. It doesn't really matter necessarily uh, what your background is or you know where you come from or even how much education you have. It's a lot of it is about resilience, tenacity, and um, being able to bounce back up. And I think uh, it's really important for people to really understand that there's a lot of other people going through the same thing. And some of the 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 messaging around what is success today, I think, is something worth examining. And I think the entrepreneurs should spend time on that as well. And that is, does success mean to me to make a gazillion dollars? Does it mean that I'm going to have a better car than my neighbor? Or does it mean that I'm really giving back to my community? Does it really mean that I'm, uh, I'm a part of something? Um, so I think that in being an entrepreneur, there's a lot of difficulties and a lot of great you know, uh, feeling of self-worth, but also I think there's there's a lot of opportunity for being a part of something greater. And you bring up a really interesting point because for some people it is all about the money, but for some people there is a, a calling inside of them and the entrepreneurship melds with that and they're able to do things in conjunction with their business. And I know that Iron Thorn does some of that. You guys work on some videos that really touch the greater good. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, well, um, we, uh, we have a nonprofit and a for-profit. And um, with the nonprofit, we make, uh, we make uh, documentaries for public television, a one hour, usually about environmental and social issues. And with, um, and with Iron Thorn Media, we do um, more work in terms of uh, uh, like branded content and talking about what is a, a company's overall uh, vision outside of uh, financial success is it uh, they're really interested in you know supporting uh, uh, diverse entrepreneurs so we were talking to Preston earlier so in, if that's the case then perhaps people interested in that uh, businesses interested in that might want to make a web series that kind of really talks about their customers or really explores um, different uh, avenues with which they can be successful in helping that community grow and flourish. So if somebody wants to find out more about Iron Thorn because they need to produce videos like that that gets to the real soul of their company, how do they find you? We are online at uh, www.ironthorn.net uh, and Facebook and um, yeah, shoot us an email. Awesome. Well, we have been here with Sophie talking about video 
and you're watching us now on video from the Small Business Festival. So you know video works. So look out for Iron Thorn because they're the ones who can help you. Thanks for joining us.